Recently, I started a store and scaled it to $37,000 a day in less than 17 days. Okay, I'm going to quickly refresh all of this so you can actually see it's real. And I'm going to explain to you in this video step by step how I did this speed run to 37K a day um, inside of less than like three weeks. Okay, now this store actually ended up uh, making around 450, actually exactly 450K this month. Today is the 31st and we still have half the day left so i assume we're gonna end up around like 460 and before i jump into how we did this just going through these numbers over here we rapid scaled like crazy every single day we almost doubled in revenue 17 days in a row and that's how we got there now i'm gonna break down the entire strategy of everything we did here on this store so let me start out by showing you the exact product research method i used to actually find this product now when it comes to finding a winning product it, everything is pretty boring all right it's, it just comes down to two things and that's what I'm currently looking for. The first thing I like to do is I want to find a product which is currently right now actively going viral. For example, this product right here. However, the second thing I'm looking out for is it goes viral, but everything about it sucks. Okay, so this video is absolute garbage. Literally everything about this video is horrible. Okay, everything's too slow. The, the light is terrible. The background looks really bad. You, he doesn't even properly open up the thing and it, like you don't even see what the product is. Everything is horrible. When you go to the website, it doesn't even properly load. It takes ages to actually open up. And also when you finally do get to the page, I saw you can, for example, not pay with PayPal and the store looks super scammy. Everything is horrible. That's an amazing sign to me. If this guy made something work here, I can improve on it like crazy because my setup is very different than his. I have a bunch of advantages over this guy. So the best way to do dropshipping is first you need to become good at the skill. Okay, so you need to be able to film really good videos, etc. And then you just find people who make money, but everything about them sucks and you just improve on it. It's pretty simple. When it comes to the website, I'm gonna show you a crazy hack over here. It's actually insane, but here's how it works. So you go on the website, pagepilot.ai. You basically log in, do all your stuff, click on generate, copy and paste an AliExpress link in there and just watch what's gonna happen. Let it load. That's it. Everything is done already. So you literally have a full good looking store right away. And then you just click on connect Shopify and that's it. This website is ridiculous. I'm not sponsored by them. If you look below this video, you're going to have a zero affiliate link policy. I want to always stay truthful to what pages I'm promoting. And that's why I don't take any money from any softwares whatsoever. This is just one of these softwares. When I found it, I was just like blown away how crazy simple it is and how effective. But that's obviously just the first step. Okay. They're not going to do everything right when it comes to average order value optimization. Now, let me show you one website which does an amazing job at everything when it comes to conversion rate and average order value. This store right here is just perfect. It has bundles, it has all the right upsells in all the right places. It just as does everything right. For example, these things right here, like free gifts added in the card, then having this like secure checkout or warranty or pre-checked on, these things are great. And one thing you have to keep in mind, and I'm gonna break down in a second what you have to actually do to make the most amount of money from the website. But my main point is this, when you, for example, go viral on TikTok or Instagram or whatever, and you make a bunch of money from it. Let's say you make $10,000 from going crazy viral. If you do that and don't have a perfectly optimized website, you literally lost another $10,000. Because if everything would be perfectly optimized, your conversion rate would pretty much double and your average order value would also go up. And whenever you double your conversion rate, you will make double the amount of money. So this is very significant. And this is also a massive competitive advantage we always have above everyone else. I can afford to spend double the amount of money to acquire one customer, which puts me in a massive advantage. Later on, when it comes to scaling with ads, I can literally spend twice the amount of what you can spend if you didn't optimize your store the right, right way. And this is just ridiculously valuable. And that's why I'm going to break down every app we're using, everything we do to make a perfect store so you can do the same. The very first app I'm going to show you here is One Click Upsell. I love this app. And if I go back to the store we scaled recently, if we just open up Zipify, you're going to see how much extra money we made from this in the last month. If I get into the statistics here and go on to the last 30 days, you're going to see I made an extra $90,000 from only this app, which is 
insane. And on the time frame I showed you earlier, which is the 1st until the 21st, we made $50,000, which is actually crazy because this is pure extra profit, okay? This is exactly what I'm talking about. These $50,000 would not have been made if I wouldn't have installed this app. And that's something which nobody can beat me on. So the main thing this app does is it adds a bunch of upsells everywhere. So you're gonna have a pre-purchase offer. When they click on add to cart, there's gonna be a pop-up and that single pop-up made me $31,000. If I wouldn't have that, I would have missed out on this. And then there's an in checkout offer, which you only have with Shopify Plus. So it's irrelevant for you in the beginning. But then the place where we make the most amount of money is post-purchase. So somebody buys a product, you offer them either the same product or some extra upsell on top for a very strong discount. What we seen is the most important part here is having products which are self-explanatory. So for example, if you sell a product, you, the person buys it and they see the post-purchase upsell, they're not going to buy the product if they don't understand from seeing only that one picture what exactly it is and why they should buy it. All right. So usually what we saw is the best offer is just selling the same exact thing again, or you sell something which one picture or one gift is going to explain instantly. So it's very important that you sell self-explanatory products right here. The next thing we always use is the shrine theme. Okay. This is my favorite theme. Again, no affiliate link below this video because I don't really care, but this theme actually is great. We're consistently using it and this is what gives us the highest conversion rates. So what it basically does is add a bunch of upsells everywhere, okay? You're gonna have like this checkbox on, for example, or you're gonna be able to have like a bunch of extra gifts here, which I showed you earlier, like some stuff like this, where this is a free extra gift, which is just inside. These are things which are amazing, okay? These are boosting your conversion rate. Literally this thing, if you just have people adding to cart and then they see, oh, if I buy this, I get three extra products completely for free. More people will check out, okay? This is something which is just gonna make your your conversion rate go up. So yeah, that's that. And then the next app we're using is Wide Bundle. So this is something if you don't want to buy the Shrine theme, this is a really great alternative and you should definitely get it for all the bundles and making having the right offers. So this is basically where they can easily buy two or buy three and then select the right variants. Okay. A lot of apps struggle with this. If somebody buys two, it has to be the same exact product and it can't be like one is the green version, one is the blue version. So it has to be the same one. Here they can actually custom select which version they want. All right, now that you know this, let me go over the overarching strategy we consistently use. First of all, you find a new product and you either test it organically or with paid ads. In our case, we just do both at the same time. But if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend doing organic only. So the question you always need to ask yourself is, can I improve on it? Here, there's going to be a few easy and difficult ways, okay? So the easy way, for example, is if you see a dog product and you have a dog, you're going to be easily able to film great content, which most dropshippers won't. So you instantly are going to stand up. If you're a girl and you sell girl products, it's going to be much easier because most dropshippers are guys. And that's something which we call a competitive advantage. If you just have something which other people don't, it's going to be always easier to sell a product. Now, if you don't have that, you still can create one by making excellent content. And that's always an advantage which you're, which you're going to keep forever. Literally every single product you test, if you just outcompete everyone else on amazing, perfect videos, you will succeed. And this is something we always teach our students, making just the best possible content, obviously with the right products. For example, what we do in our program is you should send us a list of like 30 products, we look over that list and we tell you, test this one, all right? We just do the picking for you because we've seen hundreds and hundreds of products being tested. We saw the ones succeed. We don't, we saw the ones which don't and we just know what's good. This is just something which can dramatically cut down your learning curve. But anyways, can I improve on it? That's the main question you always need to ask yourself. If yes, test it on organic. If no, get back to prior research. This is what you should be doing as a beginner. Now, you test it on organic. If after a few weeks you, you go viral, great. If you don't, again, test a new product. This is just a cycle we go through. You obviously have to keep in mind, not every single product is going to be a winner. So you need to just take your time and be persistent with it. Okay. Not every product will succeed. And the first one I guarantee won't succeed for you. So you need to just keep testing. So this fail could happen in for three reasons. Either you have tested the wrong product. The product you tested sucks. The second reason could be your content sucks. And the third reason could be the algorithm just fucked you over. 
All right, that means you got shadow banned on Instagram or just for whatever reason you did something wrong, Instagram, TikTok doesn't want you to go viral. And to the people in our mentorship program, we help with all these three things, all right? We tell you which products to test, we review your content, we tell you what's good and what's bad, what to improve. And then also we look over the health of the account and make sure you're not shadow banned, you use the right VPN strategy, you do everything the right way. But anyways, you go viral, then you start posting conversion-based videos. This right here doesn't mean yet that you made money, all right? This just means you got a a bunch of views. We don't really care about views, but as a beginner, you should be happy about this because this is the first sign of success. And the thing you need to be doing is you need to start sprinkling in salesier content, all right? You need to re react to comments where people ask, where can I get this? And then you explain where they can get it. All these things, post conversion based videos and selling can be done right or wrong. And if you do make at least like $5,000, you get to the next step. If you don't, we start from scratch again. All right, you don't care about views. So if you just make a bunch of views, but no money, we go back to the beginning and start searching for a new product. And this is what we do. However, if you did make the 5K, then we get to the next step, which is go all in on this product and only start posting bangers. And what you have to do is just start going the extra mile on making perfect content. In the beginning, you have to just post a bunch of videos. Later on, you actually have to make the most amazing content out there and you just have to stand out with your competition even more. And the second thing you're gonna have to do is run A-B tests on your store. So you're gonna consistently start improving your store. What an A-B test means is 50% of the traffic which comes to your store goes onto one product page and 50% of your traffic goes to another landing page. This means that you can literally evaluate the test which you did. So you can, for example, test two prices, $50, and $40. And then you're going to see where you make the most amount of money. And this is something we love doing and most people don't do it. But the app we're using here is AB Intelligems. This is the, the app we're consistently using and we just evaluate everything. That by itself is going to get you to stand out over your competition very, very fast if you do it the right way because no one is doing this. And I promise you, especially in the whole organic bubble, nobody even has an idea of how this is done. Now you consistently do that and hopefully at some point you make your first 100k. Before making 100k, you don't even think about running paid ads. However, after you make that, you can start thinking about it and scale using paid ads. And this is how we scale everything because quite frankly, you only have two options to scale to like a few million dollars with organic. Either you take your organic product and move it over to paid ads or you take your organic product and start having a bunch of creators make videos for you and have like a bunch of sub accounts and you basically hire a bunch of people who create content for your product on different accounts and then you scale horizontally that way. Obviously both works and we teach both in our program. And this is exactly what we do in our one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. What you see here on screen right now is all of our case studies from the students. Basically the students making a ridiculous amount of money. and. I can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever because there's nobody in the entire game who produces more consistent results than us. Literally nobody has as many case studies as we do. And if you want to become the next one, you can actually click the link below, sign up for a call. We're going to see if everything is a good fit. And if yes, we're going to start. If no, then not.